What's going on guys? You may be able to hear my voice, but I'm getting sick. Anyways guys, so that's not important now. Today I got a god mode glitch that is amazing. There's pros and cons of it. The pro is you're you're a god. You can do whatever you want, everything's good. The cons is um the zombies don't go to you. They just run randomly around the map wherever you are. So what you need to do is you need to get this card right here, the zombie magnet card. This card is all that you use to use the glitch. It's a fortune card or fate, I don't remember, whichever ones you have to earn through the supply drops. But uh, once you use it, you lose it, guys, so make sure you do this at a good time. So guys, what happens is you have to earn this card. Once you earn this card, you activate it, and as soon as you activate it, you back out. Like, watch how fast I do. You don't need to do it this fast, but look. I pop it, and then I'm gone. Like, I did it really fast. You guys don't have to do that fast. So right now, my friend is in that game by himself. And the zombies are looking for my character, which I am no longer in the game. And since I'm no longer in the game, the counter's not going down. So they're just sitting there endlessly trying to find me. So what right now, how it's going to be, wherever he goes around the map, he's going to have zombies spawn in that part. But they're going to run spazzingly. So it's kind of hard to kill them because they just spaz around and run everywhere. But it is pretty cool because you can go to endless round. The things that, that do kind of suck about it is you can't do the easter egg because you can't bring zombies to you. Because you have to bring zombies to you to do the traps to get the guns and do all that. And it's really, really hard to do. You can do it, but it's almost impossible to get the brutes to knock out the teeth. That's why it's best to do it later on in the easter egg when you have everything set up. So guys, now I got my own game going in the background. Thank, thankfully, I was lucky enough to ha find this guy. Uh, I think his name was Supreme. He was good enough. I added him to, yeah, Supreme Leader. He was good enough to actually do this glitch for me. So as you see, he just left. He activated the card and left. And his friend left for some reason. But the zombies don't attack us. Like, look, he's pushing me backwards. It's really cool. So there's people say you can let people join and it fixes this. But it's not how it works. So what happened is um, his friend was able to join back. He was not. He could not join back. To, for him to join back, he had to uh, leave and start his own solo game, play a little bit of that, then come and join this one. So what's, what's kind of weird is, is when his friend joined back and when he did, the zombies would only go for him and not us. So it was kind of trippy because we were just like an endless, like how you can call in the servant, like Hoff. I was like an endless one of those. I could kill zombies and revive them and they wouldn't attack me. So this is pretty good. The bad thing is it does take a long time to go through the levels because they spaz out everywhere. We spent maybe three hours and only got to round like 34. Then we end up just suicide packing and I, I killed us all. So even if you die when you have this glitch, it still works. Don't worry about it. But um, if you if you die, it works. If you bleed out, we don't know. We didn't test it. But say if you go into a trap and you get killed, you'll be fine. So the big guys don't chase you. The clowns don't chase you. And then the zombies don't chase you, obviously. So it's actually a really cool glitch, guys. Uh, use it before it's gone. And I'll leave a comment or something in the description saying when it's patched. All right, guys. I'm out.